Hey guys, this is Ron Customs, and before we get into the video, this is my first time actually like doing a vlog type series to this channel. So when we first walk into my dungeon slash custom room, I have my hair products in my sanitary area. So if you want me to talk about my hair products I use for my hair waves and everything, let me know and I'll probably make a video on that. Inside these two boxes, I got most of the shoes that I'll be working on in this episode, 25 pairs or more. Black chair with my massager thing on just in case my back start hurting shoes. or something. That's under here. I don't feel like moving this box. But some shoes that's under here, I either got orders canceled on, shoes that I did for a contest, my pair, a shoe that got to be restored, and then a shoe that got to be painted, some cleats. And then over here is just more boxes that I ship out shoes with. Some I still got to destroy. I got my apron that I paint in. This kind of what it look like. Hold up, on this around. Boom. There we go. Boom. My look, paint apron that I rock. There we go. And here goes some shipping boxes that I ship the shoes out in as well. I got it from Amazon. I got 25 for 25, I think. $25 to be exact. This one right here. I got a, my business cards. Boom. Um, I don't know where they just went, but I pulled some out. Here they go. Around customs, if you want to contact me. Boom. And right here is my computer. My mouse. That's where all the magic happens with my stencils. My vinyl cutter right here, the silhouette portrait. I need to get a new one because um, this one, my they don't um, help me support with no more, so I gotta do everything manually. And here go my printer. Printer is where I gotta where I print all my labels and some certain designs. My tape measure, just because I gotta measure a Nike logo or make a certain part of the shoe. And my wallet, my shoe rejuvenated collapsible coat, my speaker. That's all that's really in this thing. And here go also the vinyl that I use. I get it from I get most of everything from Amazon. But this is the or Orcal 631. I use that one. Over here, it just more shoes that I already finished, gotta do. Still in the process of and still got to do. And that's most of them. And before we get more to my desk, here goes my air compressor. This is California Air Tool. It's light, quiet, and air compressor. I use this. And I got my Grex, my two Grex airbrushes. I just added one like two, a month or two ago. And I love them. I'll put the link in the description where I got them from. Here go my airbrush spray cup is where if I'm done with a color, I just spray it in there, and empty it out. It's like a cleaning pot. And then got my Jakar White. I love got this LK Shoes Intercoat. It's for like focus. This Intercoat LK Shoes is like when you use stencils and you don't want to overspray. You spray a coat of that, and you get no overspray. And I also have this offbeat custom finish, matte finish. I love this stuff. I can run through this like crazy, but I can get through like 20 pairs, 20, like 15 to 20 pairs with that. And I also have my Riley Restoration Scratch Resistant Sailor, and I use this to paint midsoles. And I also have my Jacquard Lumrai if you focus. It's per per pearlescent. Ember is like green because I got a new custom coming out real soon. This also have my cotton balls, super jumbo, my cotton rounds. I also have my Grex airbrush cleaner. I also use this to clean my paint brushes too. Two in one. And then here goes a shoe that I'm taping up, prepping right now. Here is my like 30 ounce of airbrush cleaner. I just mix like 10% Grex and then rest water. You don't really need airbrush cleaner. You could just use water to clean out your airbrush. It ain't really that different. Here goes some sandpaper through 20 grit. 
my acetone, and then here goes some of my other little Jacquard bottles, the o Neapolitan and the textile. And here go my blow dryer. You don't need a heat gun. A blow dryer would do you perfectly fine. And here go all my tape. The yellow automotive. This is, this tape is for automotive. This is what automotives use, I should say. And I use this to tape up the mitt, so because. It don't leave no residue, and that's why automotive people use it because it leaves no residue once you use it. I use this for like if I'm taping up the leather or something. I just don't just don't let this sit on there too long. And then this this wide um, I think two inch tape I use for the sock liner, or if I'm using a stencil, I use this just because it take up a lot of coverage. And then inside this drawer. I had to get these from Amazon because it was looking a mess in before. I got my stencils from airbrushing. Got all my detailed paint brushes. Then got all my angler paint brushes. I only use angular big brushes because I feel like they're just easier to use. And then my scissors, my air, more airbrush parts. So if I want to change the cap, I can see them. That's a big cap, but if I want to change it to a smaller one or a medium one, I can use that. My little airbrush cleaners, my exacto knife and the pencils that I used to draw with, my markers and pens. This is the only, I don't know how you say this, posh marker that I have. It's black. I use that for my pens. Then in this drawer, if I can get it to open, there we go. I got all my, my restoring products. I got me a low key bottle of acetone. I got this new life just suede product. Stuff is amazing. Bring back your suede. It's dingy. It look dingy. And then I got my like my homie of my homies. He was there when I first started Raleigh Restorations. Ice cream to on your little soles. And then I got this new life new antidote as well. It's to get out the big crazy stains deep stains in america out your shoes and then i got my rejuvenator this they new, new um bottle too um eight ounce i also got some more of their stuff on the way too they just had a sale the other day and i also have this rejuvenator mink oil i'm mad they don't sell this no more because i love this stuff and i'm almost low on it so once i'm going once it's done it's done i'm gonna be so sad and back here, I have the OG of OG rejuvenated um, cleaning brushes. This is this is what it looked like back then versus what it looked like now. Look at that! Look at that size difference. All right, you go this one like this with your whole palm and hand versus this one, literally like three or four fingers. This stuff used to be painful. And I also got this net cleaning thing. Got these shoe trees. I got them from. I got a few of them from Soul Tree, and then got a pair from Rejuvenator. This they new ones as well. I bought got two rows of Jacquard paint, and I just bought every color that you could think of from um, fluorescent. To opaque, oh no, this is a sneaker collection. To um, what is opaque? To opaque, and it's another one. And it's opaque. To um, indurescence. And I just use Angel's paint for skin tones. So I got my browns, I got my oranges, I got my you no know, tans, I got my pinkish. Then I got a few eyeball colors just in case I end up needing them. Because you know, you never know when something happens. And you might just end up needing a paintbrush of color. And the, the reason why I use your car paint more is because I'm starting to use my airbrush more. And when you start to do that, you need paint that's already, that's already airbrush ready. <laughs> Is already strained, is already everything, is already reduced. You ain't gotta 
put no extra water or nothing in it. Versus the Angel's paint, you gotta strain it, dilute it, la 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 la. So, I'm here actually have a few backup colors just in case I run out of colors. Because one thing I hate is running out of colors, and then I gotta wait four or five days for it to come. So, well, I really don't have to wait four or five days. Well, I really don't have to wait four or five days because my homegirl, Remix Your Kicks, she shipped like crazy. She shipped right away, like the fastest shipper I know. Like, honestly, if I order from Angelus, I gotta wait about a week or two. Remix Your Kicks, I gotta wait a week. I mean, not even a week, two days. So that's the good thing about the Jakarta paint, as well as it's already airbrush ready. So as I was saying, I got 25 plus pairs to do. I think eight or nine is already prepped and is already primed and ready for the original base colors to go down. I just got 10 to 13 more I gotta prep up. And then I should have Two or four more pairs coming tomorrow, so uh, I like a fast course shot of me doing this to all the shoes. So yeah, let's get to it. Now keep in mind, this is the boring part of the custom. With all the delacing and taping and prepping. Gotta get my head right, fucking with the kid, cause I be lit up in it at night. Gotta run it up, why I can't go in when it's bedtime. Speaking with the quality, you'll get put up on the headline. XO did me dirty for that birdie, bitch, I'm moving on. Y'all nigga be splurging, put my new bitch up in Louboutin. And I grit that 30, I ain't worried, they can't do me wrong. Pray the Lord be with them, phone don't get them, then that nigga go. Let them know that I'ma be zoning. Yeah, nigga call out, I got him caught a case of Corona. Hey guys, so quick update. I got all the shoes delaced and all the insoles. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Here go all the shoes. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, and nine. So it's about nine pairs that I just unlaced and delayed. All that extra stuff. Now it's time for me to prep, and that's that includes acetone and taping and other little secret stuff that I do with the midsole that I won't put out yet until I know it's official. And I hope to put out this product one day, but let's get into it. So this, this is what I was saying when I could tell the difference between each shoe. So I know this one is the Milkway because it has no laces, but it has the insole. I know this is the Drip because it has the laces and it has the insoles. I know one of these pairs under here is the Cosmos V2 because it has no insole and it has no laces. So that's how I could tell the difference between each shoe. I don't have it to go back and check in my sources. You know? Let's get into the prep. Young and tired and then we blow it. Nigga, I never catch me caught in no feelings. I'm a real ass fucking once in the. And what I like to do when I do shoes, I don't like to prep once. I like to prep three times. Because the first time, you just now getting the, the factory finish off. The second time, you. Get it most of it off. The third time, you get all of it off, and it's a nice clean surface. Should he come 
the savior, Jordan, 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 Jordan. Shorty come through the late night. We get loose till daylight. Get in that zone, waste time. Beat it like some. Hey guys, so I'm back from prepping all these shoes. I'm done prepping all these shoes. It's currently 4.12 a.m. Yeah, so I'm about to do a little bit of taping on these midsoles and, and probably call it a night after I get done taping. Probably go to bed at 5 a.m. Clock back in at 11 or 12. Let's get it. So with the drippy Air Force Ones, I won't be needing to use this yellow tape. Just on Cosmos V2s and the Milky Ways, I've been needing this tape. For the drippies, the reason why I won't need this tape is because I'll be using a vinyl stencil like this to get my drippy effect on. So all the drippy ones will get pushed to the side until tomorrow. Shorty come through the late night Doing these niggas wrong, shorty ain't right Fuck that phone on FaceTime Need you alone, let's take flight Shorty come through the late night, late night Shorty come through the late night Shorty come through the late night, late night Shorty come through the late night Now all these shoes will be, will be needing this yellow tape on the midsole Either up here or down here Because I paint the midsole on the Cosmos V2s So let's get that started Be enough. I like to get it under the line because when I come in with my exacto knife to take this tape off, I don't want to be leaving no marks, I mean, like no peeling pieces off. So I like to get it all over. Tell him when and by the way I'm spinning Damn a nigga paid Tryna get away me See a nigga litty I just blew a couple thousand in the day Get right back city Hottest in the city Really some mine He ain't gotta say Know that they gon' feel me Focus on a Benji Touch a hundred K A million on the way Ain't safe Till a hundred in the safe Top of another hundred in the bank I ain't tryna love her on Through the cuff and told her We just fucking even at the gate Only when it's late she come through Know you got a friend she come through Know you got a man But he ain't me Let him hoes on the man Boom That's how you tape a midsole the bottom of the mid so one piece of tape. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to take up this the full mid so with another one piece of tape. The technique with this. So I get I get one straight piece, tape it up, and I'll line it up to the top, to the tippity top top. It's kind of awkward. I'm trying to show y'all. I want to make sure it's on straight because what I'm about to do when I'm about to use. We get loose till daylight. Get in that zone, waste time. Beat it like songs with bass lines. Shorty come through in the late night. Doing these niggas wrong, shorty ain't right. Fuck that phone on FaceTime. Need you alone, let's take flight. Shorty come through in the late night, late night. Shorty come through in the late night. Shorty come through in the late night, late night. Shorty come through in the late night. Shorty come through in the late night. Doing these niggas wrong, shorty ain't right. Fuck that phone on FaceTime. Customers because they know you ain't sloppy with your work and, and you're not too careless. Now, now I'm doing a sock liner. I'm doing this, I think, two inch tape. Let me see, one, two. Yeah, two inch tape. I remember all them days at the bottom Them niggas counted me out Guess they wasn't good with them numbers They slump on me like slumber But it's cool cause I'm coming harder than anybody Promise they won't stop me this summer Cause I'm flexing uh, Tryna pull up in the roads Used to be down and now young nigga had to walk in the cold Without a doubt my wrist the only thing to get froze Just stick to my goals Soon it'll be a million shows 
Uh, not a single soul. Them yeah. niggas switched up, show they true colors and miss that on gold. And a blessing, uh, you gon' need that shit for sure. If you fucking with the guys, you know that ain't no surprise. Remember days when I ain't have it, now I'm feeling me. Shout out my brothers, different mothers, but blood still the same. I never change, these niggas be renegade. Puffin', these niggas hot, you know they. So, hey. Hey guys, I want to thank you for watching vlog one, and there's many more to come, I don't know how much yet, I think probably five, but I just want to say thank you for watching me, show y'all my studio and where I paint and live, breathe at, and um, also unboxing the shoes, prepping them, and taping them up, it was a pretty long day, it's currently... 4.52 a.m. in Grampus, Michigan. And yeah, so get ready for vlog two. Vlog two be a little bit different. Maybe a little bit more exciting. This one was pretty boring and laid back a little bit. Just showing y'all my life. And yeah. Vlog two. Ready for vlog two. Why they hating me? Cause the young and I'm in my bag, eh? Hey, big man.